We've been called to a walker who's uh, managed to put their foot down a hole, um, common occurrence on kinder, uh, there's lots of boulders and holes everywhere, um, looks like they think, we think they've broken their ankle. Um, so it's somewhere around, for those who know it, the region of Mermaid's Pool, uh, which is kind of below the top of kinder, uh, but it's on really rough ground. Uh, we're just heading up there now, there's a team gone ahead of us to, to do an assessment. Uh, we're just now taking some heavy gear up and taking a stretcher and the wheel and a few other things uh, to try and uh, look at an evacuation but it's pretty horrible ground here you can probably see how steep it drops away for us to try and get back we managed to get a vehicle down to the bottom of there but this is going to be a horrible stretcher carry so we'll do our best and it may take us a while By the time we arrived, Dale had already assessed the casualty. He had decided that it wasn't too serious an ankle injury, however the guy couldn't wait bare, so whichever way we did this, he wasn't walking out. Uh, his car was back in Edale, that's a heck of a long way from Mermaid's Pool, so it was looking like it was going to be a stretcher carry. Just starting our carry off. Uh, can use the wheel at the top here, but as soon as we get over the ridge here, it gets really steep and really rough. So I think it's going to get a lot harder. We expect this one to be quite a long, difficult carry, um, but you know, there's only limited numbers of us, so we'll, it's going to take us some time. Given the difficulty of the terrain we're about to face and how long this stretcher carry was going to take, we did politely ask the air ambulance if they had fancied coming to help us out. However, they equally politely declined, saying that unless he had a bone sticking out the side of his leg, they were a bit busy at the moment. So we went on with our stretcher carry. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Okay, hold. Okay. Right, Amanda, we're going to hand over hand. I got that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lift the wire, guys. Yeah. 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 Uh, you going straight through, Darren? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, let's let's hold. And reset. What are you going to do, Darren? Lift the lasso off the rail. Just below the area we're going through at the moment, the ground drops away quite steeply towards the river. So we're a little bit worried that we didn't want the stretcher to get out of control. So we put a confidence line onto the back of the stretcher and belayed it off one of the trees nearby us. Uh, we ended up putting two lines on because we're just a little bit worried that we may run out of line. The, these lines are a little bit shorter. Um, so we put a second line on, belayed it off a lower tree and that covered us while we went round the corner. Yeah. Down to you, me, how it is. 
Got it, got it, got it, got it. So everyone's back down now. Um, the guy uh, has, he injured his ankle somehow. I weren't sure if it was broken or sprained or what, but um, we got him back to an ambulance and he's gone off to hospital to have that looked at. Um, his other friends he was with, um, their car is back in Edale, which is quite a bit away from here. But fortunately we bumped into one of the rangers who was doing some work um, on, on one of the walls. Um, he said he was heading to Edale. So he dropped the, got them into his Land Rover and he's kindly taken them back to their car. So everybody seems okay. We're back down okay. Um, only problem from us, is um, one of the windows in one of our Land Rovers broke um, so we're gonna have to have that repaired now so that's another bill for us um, but that's how it goes that's part of mountain rescue costs an awful lot of money to run this and this is just another one of the many expenses we have uh, to keep our service available to go and rescue people